So what is HTML? What does the term HTML even mean and how does it relate to the web? In a minute, we'll talk about the big picture of three technologies that drive the web, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But where does HTML fit? In other words, precisely what role does HTML play in web development? As we go along, you will see that understanding the answers to these pretty simple questions will actually help you make correct coding decisions down the line. Well, first of all, so what does HTML stand for? Well, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So let's go over each one of these words and find out what exactly they mean. So first of all, hypertext. Well, hypertext is text which contains links to other texts. Uh, and that's basically the entire web, right? One document points to another document or points to a bunch of other documents and it grows on and on. Sometimes they link back to the original document and it becomes one gigantic web. And obviously it's not just about text nowadays. Hypermedia is, plays a huge role in, in the web today. You can watch uh, videos, uh, listen to music, and really hypermedia is just an extension of hypertext. The next uh, term is markup. So markup means to mark something up, to annotate. So for example, it's really all about content. On the web, it's all about content. So if you have some content, for example, if you have <clears throat> a document you're writing called Why I Love This Course, which is, I'm sure, going to be the title of your next blog post, um, that's the content. And you want to annotate the content to tell the browser or to tell some other machine out there, some other program out there, what this content is. And that's what HTML does. So HTML goes and surrounds that, surrounds and wraps that content in some markup, in some markup language like tags. So you could see here um, why I love this course is wrapped around with a title tag, which kind of tells us and some other software out there that this is the title of this document. Which brings me to the first uh, big point. HTML is human readable. So these tags look like instructions for a document structure. You don't, structure. You don't need to run it through some interpreter in order to understand the output structure of the document. It's very clear what it is. The last uh, word um, in the hypertext markup language is language. And language basically implies that it has its own syntax, meaning there's a right and a wrong way to code it. So, for instance, in the uh, example on the left, the closing div tag appears after the closing h1 tag. So its closing order is switched, which causes parsing and potentially rendering errors. So HTML is language. You could actually code it up in a way such that it's wrong and something will break. HTML also has its own semantics, which means uh, tag names can mean something either to machines or to humans. Okay, so let's talk about the three technologies that drive the web. Each one has its own distinctive purpose and all three of them fit very nicely together. Let's start with HTML. HTML provides the structure, which means what components that does the HTML document have. For example, it can have one heading, two paragraphs, and a footer. Note that that does not tell you anything about how these components are visually laid out, or what they look like, what color they are, what font size they are. It only tells you what are the components? Like in a house, if you have three rooms in a kitchen, you don't really know what color the kitchen is, what color the walls of the kitchen uh, are, and the only thing you know is what components make up the house. The color and style is the role of CSS. So colors, layouts, font, st font sizes, in other words, any stylistic types of things. So for example, if we have a heading in our HTML document, it will tell us what color, what font size it is. So that's the job of CSS. And the third, JavaScript, its job is to provide behavior, provide functionality. It adds functionality to the page. So for example, what happens when HTML document finishes loading into the browser? Or what happens if I click on one of the headings? That's the job of JavaScript, to provide that behavior. Let's take a look at a quick example of these concepts in action. Okay, so the example that we're going to take a look at is located in the examples lecture 01 folder. And the file we're going to look at is called structure-only-before.html. And it's a simple HTML file. There's nothing but uh, some HTML and the uh, dummy text data here, dummy text. And it's got a title, it's got the heading here, uh, a couple of paragraphs, and this has a footer where in the footer we have the text support email address for the poor soul who is going to try to contact this technical support. 
joking, obviously. Okay, so basically nothing more than this, just HTML and some dummy text. And we're also going to take a look at structure-only-after.html, where it's the exact same HTML document, but we inserted some styles into it and some behavior as well. So we made the, for example, the heading, we made it green, and we center aligned it. The second paragraph has some margin applied to it. The footer here has a paragraph with our tech support email, and if we click on the tech support email, it's going to pop up an alert for us. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at both of these documents in the browser. Okay, so here's the first document. There's nothing special about it. It's got that title that we talked about, a couple of paragraphs, and uh, and the tech support email at the bottom in the footer. And if I click on it, nothing actually happens. But if we look at document number two, we see that HTML is structure only heading is now green, and it's a much bigger title. And we see that the position of it is moved to the center. And we also see that the second paragraph is in the center, and it's much bigger font compared to before. And if we click on the email address that uh, we talked about, we see an alert gets popped up with a message emailing us is useless, which sounds just about right for most people's experiences with tech support. So the thing to notice here is that the difference between the two HTML documents are the styles and the behavior we applied, but the structure of both HTML documents is exactly the same. So in summary, we spoke about HTML and the fact that it, its job is to annotate content and define document structure. And obviously, as any language, it has a right and wrong syntax, which you'll have to learn in order to code it. And the three core web technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, work very well together because each one of them has its own distinct and precise role, and they kind of don't really step on each other. They work very nicely together. Next, we'll talk about a bit of a relevant history of the HTML standard. And I do mean relevant.